Okay, guys, welcome back. Part 7 of our King's Fall commentary. This Ooh. is the Death Singers section. Much so, brighter. Naturally. Better naturally. decorating. So we must defeat the daughters of Oryx. I like the Oryx. swirly wood look. <gasps> You're going to beat up gonna women? Fight girls? Yeah, the witches. I don't, you know, that. so okay. it's those two broads floating. I know this part. What broad? Yeah, so this the section. Ball? Yeah, so here's so here's what it is. So this, I'm showing you the very first time we go into the room so you can kind of get a sense of what it's like to figure out this. So we come into this room. There's these two witches floating in this bubble here. The four platforms. One of them, Miz and Gally, turns invisible for some reason. And then one of our guys stands on the platform and it spawns these halfway invisible uh, floating platforms in the air. And we can't figure out what to do with them. And then the other thing is we stand on that and we notice that it starts a minute timer. So that's the hymn of weaving. And then it's clocking down from a minute. Ooh, the hymn of weaving. The hymn of weaving is what Ooh. it is. So we're exploring and running around trying to figure out what to do. This is literally the first time we walked into this room. Okay, so where do you get these names? <gasps> Look How do you know at that. Is that a called? witch? Because the, I I'm can see it. I'm not a witch. It. I'm your wife. <laughs> I'm not a witch. I can, because they, they it says it says him of weaving on the screen. Uh. So one of the witches went from being in a in a bubble force field to being turning red, singing the hymn of weaving. But she's immune to damage. What does the uh, hymn sound like? Can you sing I'll it? Make her harder to kill. It sounds a lot like. Ah, ah. Uh, it's not, not exactly a siren song. So yeah. she needs voice lessons. So she needs voice lessons. Awkward. And what we discover is when the hymn of weaving is done, you die. She's sensitive about oh, it. Oh, wow. So here is when we figured out what to do. So this is what you do in the section. <gasps> I like how you all spawn together like Ninja Turtles. Yep. So there's the four <laughs> glitter platforms, okay? So okay. this is going to take this is going to take some explaining. Oh man. There's the four glitter platforms and then there's the relic, which is the ball floating in the air. The guy who goes, when you stand on the glitter platform, it spawns the invisible platform, and only the guy who's torn between dimensions can actually stand on the glitter platforms. How did he get there? It, uh, it randomly chooses one person on the fire team to be to be torn between dimensions. Torn between so that's the, the whole way? Before. Yeah, so he, so he stays in here, and he's the only guy that can stand on the invisible platforms. Um, How can but, you can see it? So, How can here's you the trick. see what it looks like for him? Because I'm the guy right now. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So Deal. it spawns the invisible platforms, and what we discovered is that you have to stand. There's when you stand on the glitter platforms, it spawns these platforms, but you have to stand on them in the correct order in order to spawn these little orbs that are floating on the platform. Because there has to be an orb on every platform in order to fully charge the relic. When you do that in the right order, the relic will be fully charged when you get there. That gives you. The brand claimer, which means that you can come over here to this witch that's singing, and you can come up here and you will take out her force field, and you will steal her brand from her. Now you have a force field around you, and anybody standing inside of that force field can damage that witch. Uh -huh. So that's how you damage her. But the trick is, is you only have a minute to do this. And then here's the other trick, is that in order to have the platforms, you have to stand on them in the correct sequence so that you get the platform spawned in the right heights and that you get all the orbs. So the sequence is moving counterclockwise, always counterclockwise around the room, and you have to make sure that the, or that the platform that the relic is above is the last platform that spawns. So it's counterclockwise starting on the platform that's in front of whatever the platform that the relic is on, because all of that is random. So right now the platform's over the platform we called platform number two, so the first platform that needs to be stood on is platform is what we call platform number three. What's so the green thing? To the side? What did you call platform number one? The one that Miz and Gally is by. So what we do is like so you'll, you'll see us all set right here. So we set over here, and then when we jump it out and we call it out so that the sequence happens in the right. So we get, we get set. Everybody's ready. I'm over here with the guy that's torn between dimensions, who is Mystic Rays in this case, and then I'll watch and you can see us go around the room. So I call out, plat so I jump up, we call out, platform three, go, and then platform four, go, platform one, Ms. Ngeli jumps on, platform oh, two. And now the guy is moving around the room, and so now what you gotta do is kill that. So it spawns a tortured centurion in the middle of the room, you have to kill him because he does massive damage to the guy standing on the platform. So you kill him, as soon as he goes down, everybody on their platforms has to look out to the side Maybe because it's, the it's going to- the tortured centurion just needs a hollow yeah, knight. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna spawn in snipers, kill the, kill the snipers. 
About by about that time, you should have about 30 seconds left, and the guy with and the guy who damaged the witch should bring back the force field, and you have if you need about 30 seconds in order to do enough damage to actually kill the witch. Once again, everything in this raid is snipers and heavy machine guns because those are the only things that deal enough damage fast enough to actually do it. And they're the only way to make up for the silly names like bubble shields and blessings <laughs> of light. They gotta push it up. So, Anything to stop the thing. And the thing that took us the longest to figure out was the sequence of the platforms. It's, it's the counterclockwise around the room, because you have to spawn all the platforms at the right height and spawn the orbs in in order to charge the relic at the end. While you're killing all the people. While you're killing all the people. And then what you're going to do is it's going to give you, after you kill the first witch, it's going to give you a round of adds. So clean, clear the adds out and then reset, because you have to do the same thing again now on the second witch. Most of the adds are going to be stupid. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be trying to be funny, but they'll really be stupid. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it must have a I see what you did there. Yeah, clear the ads. Clear the ads. Nobody wants ads. Pay the extra money to Hulu yeah, so they pay can, the money to Hulu. So they can give you the ads, ads at the beginning instead. Wow. So once again, kill kill the centurion, then kill the snipers. Then everybody what we did is everybody gathered together on one of the platforms and now you've got to damage the other death singer. If you do it right, it shouldn't shouldn't take you very long to do. And then if you're a warlock, I suggest using your Nova Bomb because you can drop a Nova Bomb on her and you can leave the Vortex Grenade so it does so it does additional damage to her. Wait, one of y'all's a warlock? I'm a warlock. That's my guy. That's my classic character. Uh -huh. So watch, I'm going to drop a Nova Bomb on her in just a second here. Kaboomy! How exciting. Tell the ads you're happy with the current size of your balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having problems with my balls. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> So that's how you kill the deaths. That's how you kill the death singers, and Yay. that's the last step before Crota. And then you never told me what those green things are. What green things are? Are they just they? A hey, rock? They just to decorate. They just, got decorations. They're just decorations. Instead of just spiky things. Yep. And then that things will. Are looking up. That will give you a chest, and then out of that chest, I got the raid shotgun, which is nice because it's a 303 damage shotgun. So it's one of the highest damage guns in the game right now. Oh, 303! Yeah. Time to change 303, 304. I've got like 10 of those. Yeah, you got like a thousand. I've got yeah. like all of those, but on my other account in Canada. <laughs> yep. It's real. <gasps> and now, now you must defeat Oryx, the Taken King. And what you do to spawn I hope him? I he's handsome. See any relation to Liam Neeson? Uh, you tell.